Your standard PC power supply, whether it be ATX, SFX, SFXL, or even Flex ATX, perform two basic functions. Number one, it converts the juice coming out of your wall, alternating current, into direct current, which is the nom nom juice that your PC components crave. And number two, it changes and supplies the components in your PC with the different voltages it needs in a process called DC-DC conversion. This is the HDPlex 400 AC. It's only half of a typical PC power supply performing job one, converting AC into DC. You'll still need to pair it with a 19 volt DC-DC power supply that does only job two in order to have a complete power supply solution. I'm gonna be pairing it with the HDPlex 400, but to learn about different DC-DC products, please check out my channel. I have dozens of hours of content on the subject. If you are a scratch builder, serious modder, or small form factor enthusiast, this product has the potential to completely change how you approach your art and give you more freedom and flexibility. If you're anyone else, it might be barely interesting at best. Separating your power supply into two components has many advantages, but I'm mostly concerned about just two. One, it can reduce the overall volume of your builds, allowing you to build smaller or stuff the power supply into weird locations. It also can dramatically reduce cable clutter, which is significant for some mods and all small form factor builds. This particular power supply is beefy enough to power a 9700K plus a 2080 at stock voltages 24 seven. It comes in a simple box with the AC unit itself, a barrel jack for using as an external power brick, a surprisingly quiet fan, and two low profile AC inlets. The C8 inlet is directly compatible with the Skyreach 4 Mini, allowing you to fit this power supply directly into the case. So this plus this equals that. The complete solution costs $213 and allows for really small creative builds while delivering lots of power at a crazy good efficiency. Okay Josh, so I can see how an HD Plex combo is smaller than a typical ATX power supply, but what about a flex power supply which can be less volume and far cheaper? Fair point. It's true that apples to apples, the entire setup isn't much smaller than a similar wattage total power supply solution, but it's the complete volume that's affected. By breaking up a power supply, you can stuff the pieces into nooks and crannies that already exist, rather than creating a void specifically for one big power supply. For the cable argument, you can place the DC-DC component closer to parts and not have to stretch long bundles of cables across your case. In the small form factor world, every millimeter counts. These type of power supplies have been around for the past 10 years at least, but what makes this product special is its output, performance, efficiency, and most importantly, it has been designed from the ground up to be as end user friendly as possible. Knowing how much us small form factor enthusiasts love these types of power supplies, HDPlex contacted me towards the beginning of this project to make it our dream power supply solution. When asked what my target goal would be, I said an 80 watt CPU and a GeForce 1060. Over six months and nearly a dozen revisions later, HDPlex was sending me samples that with some tuning was powering an R9 Nano, Vega Nano, 1080 Ti, and even a 2080 Ti system. The final retail version has an official endorsement to run a 9700K and a 2080. For some games and benchmarks, the Vega 56 Nano and 2080 Ti worked fine, but for others, it would cause a system reset instantly. The 2080 Ti plus 9700K can easily pull a sustained 450 watts. And while both the HD Plex 400 AC and the 400 DC can operate this load for a while, the DC unit will eventually overheat and shut off. With the 400 DC seemingly the bottleneck, HDPlex sent me a beta unit of the 800 DC to see if I could get past that. This kind of ended up being a dead end because it's really two 400 DC smushed into one unit, so I wasn't really able to find the shutoff limit of the final version of the 400 AC. I mean, technically it's around 460 watts, but I need an oscilloscope to measure the actual micro peaking which would cause it to shut off. Long story short, I was easily able to run the 2080 Ti plus 9700K off this unit by simply lowering the power limit in MSI Afterburner. Different cards might allow for more aggressive settings, but this was interesting to me because I had perfect stability with just one software slider and it made the 2080 Ti still outperform the stock 2080 while using less power. Okay Nvidia, I guess I owe you an apology and I take back the mean things I said about the 2080 Ti. The Zotac 1080 Ti Mini is a very popular GPU and currently the most powerful GPU you can stick in a Mini. It draws somewhere between the stock 2080 and the 2080 Ti, and I found that the 400 AC could power it no problem. But it is right on the edge without power controls, so if you have trouble, try using MSI Afterburner to get a tune, because cards may vary. Now, I would say I have minor nitpicks about this product, but most of them are being addressed in real time. 
I would like the cables and connectors to all be black or at least this black and silver that did not come with the appropriate screws for the Mini, but those are being made. And finally, it does have a little bit of coil wine but nothing really too serious. In fact, it's actually much better than similar products in this category. Plus, turns out, there actually is a fix for it, and Larry is working hard at implementing it for the next batch. By the time you watch this video, it probably already will be fixed. The typical HDplex product will undergo several revisions during its lifetime due to customer suggestions and feedback, which is one of the great benefits of working with a small company with a really passionate owner at the head. I'll conclude this video by talking about my agenda, helping out S4 Mini owners. Now, the real excitement surrounding this power supply in our community is that it had the potential to be used inside of our Mini with a very powerful GPU, aka a brickless build. You can get these measurements yourself using a pair of calipers, or you can go to the manufacturer's website and look at the technical specifications of your GPU before you buy it. But sadly, this means that no, you can't use the Zotac Mini 1070 and up cards with the 400 AC installed. You're gonna have to use it externally. Advanced builders will be able to make some cards work like the NO3D 2060 or the Vega 56 Nano or even some of the Gigabyte Mini cards. I'm gonna try to cover these mods in future videos, but it is serious hardcore modding. For now, I suggest that you take the discussion to my Discord channel where people are already attempting these mods and there's a technical discussion about it. Now this might sound like really bad news, but I encourage you to keep an open mind. The 400 AC was meant to replace the giant Dell 330 and it's done a magnificent job. It's less expensive, far more powerful, and half the size. Plus it has the potential to be used in brickless builds that require no mods, like this 1050Ti 9700K build. Comparing the 400 AC to a similar solution, the Meanwell 200, we get more than twice the power output and easier installation. HDplex has a flagship achievement in the 400 AC. They now have a complete solution for high-end GPUs and eliminated many obstacles users had when adapting products in this category. As a modder and case maker, it's influenced my future designs and made things much easier for my many customers. As always, I love to hear from you guys. What build or mod or art piece could this enable you to do in this interesting form factor? Please answer in the comments below or check out my Discord. Special thanks to Larry for including me in the design process and making a brilliant product at a great expense for our community. Also, thank you to the community for supporting me as I went through the testing process. It was fun to share sneak peeks of this product with you. I appreciate you watching, guys. Stay tuned for some interesting builds and mods I'm doing with this, and I will see you next time. Peace.